I got what you want. I got what you want. I got what you need. A blind man once told me they don't need eyes to see. Nothing in life is free. That's why I'm in love with the green. My name holds weight by the P. Money don't grow on trees. I got what you need. G to an A, find a tool, Ray. Buckle up, cause we going out of space. You too. It's your boy Sleazy here, keeping it sleazy. It's a favorite toffee here. Capture more, make a carve. It's your boy Kev for real. It's Mr. Everyday K Brad. And you're watching us. Beach Boys. What are we doing today, Kev? We're reacting to Mr. Beast. This is our first time doing it. And we're going to react to his video I built 100 wells in Africa. I think I've seen some stuff like this on IG. This is the first of a hundred wells we're gonna build in this video. Oh, what a oh shoot. Oh, oh crap! You just witnessed a small <laughs> village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. One down, 99 more wells in Africa to go. You're gonna love this video. Combined, these 100 wells are gonna give around half a million people fresh water to drink. And after building some more wells on this side of Kenya, we flew south to the school system of Nairiri. And let's just say they were really happy to see us. How's it going? It's not expecting this. Thank you for the welcome. <laughs> just trying to try to react. <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody. This village threw a welcome ceremony upon our arrival, and Nolan got really into it. Nolan's the most awkward person I've ever met, and that's a lot coming from a black billionaire. After being shown around the school, yeah, I'm so I guess. Not even billionaire, millionaires. Are you having a good day? Uh, it's nice meeting you. <laughs> One of the teachers showed me where the students currently get their water, which is from this river. Couple, that's right. extremely you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't do drink. nothing. This is where your students used to get water. Uh, you from? know. Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, students complaining of diarrhea, infections like typhoid, because this is the water we've been using. So yeah. we try to treat, but you see, look at it, it, you know, but at the end of the day, life has to move on. You have to get some water anyway. This situation is obviously extremely sad. These children's lives are being limited and sometimes cut short from being forced to drink unsafe water. But at least for this village, we're gonna put an end to it right now. I don't think this John's gonna fit. <laughs> big Let's see if we can find some water. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. It is raining. It's beautiful. After the water comes out of the ground, it's fed into enormous barrels like this one. And once they're built into the water towers, all of the neighboring villages will not only have clean drinking water, but a pressurized water source as well. Which, in short, means no more doing laundry and unsafe water. And pull! <laughs> On a scale of one to Nolan's mom, how heavy is it? Oh Nolan's mom God. times two! Oh, God. Dude, I'll push That's you off of it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Under control. We built 20 more wells in Kenya, and after we were done, Bro has another well in Don't worry, I have more water in my other shoe. <laughs> and just so you know how we built these first 29 wells, we used this giant drill to dig hundreds of feet into the ground, past the polluted sources, and into an enormous aquifer of pure drinkable water. After that, we spent time installing pipes so that people all around Africa can access water from spigots like this one in Nairiri. Let's see how it tastes. Like water. It took me about a minute to fill this five gallon drum. How much water can this provide a day? 3,600 gallons a day. Not only will this well cover the 400 kids at this school, but literally the entire neighborhood and village around this school can use this well. We say thank you for the water. Oh, no problem. <laughs> this thing can basically pump nonstop for 30 years. You would think that having an effect of this magnitude would require the resources and funding of a large government, but that's not true. Solving this problem is possible and something humanity should all be putting effort in to fix. What's the secret of success? To be honest, just find something you love doing and do it for a long period and eventually you'll succeed. So I'm going to bring it super close. See us? Is that cool? Yes. If you look up, it's recording. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to get close. All right. <laughs> 
Yeah, you can see yourself. We were also able to install a well for this village, and this village, and these 12 other villages. And while we were finishing these wells, we were also able to update one of their schools with brand new computers. How are they liking it? They really like, they like them. Glad to see it turned out well. And we also updated the classrooms with new furniture, installed shelves and filled them with new books, donated a soccer ball for every student, <laughs> And even put water whiteboards <laughs> and projectors in all the classrooms. Do you guys like the projector? Yes. <laughs> we were using a chalk. I yeah. made a lot of dust. But today, everything is clean. We truly appreciate it. No problem. It's the least we could do. But then when we flew out to the side of the 45th well, we realized this community had it even harder. Every time they need to get water, they need to take a treacherous mile-long hike through the jungle. And that mile-long hike also happens to be on a giant mountain. I wake up very early, about 4 o'clock, so that I can fetch water for the school. We are not safe fetching water here. That place is very slippery. Chances of getting an injury is very high. So while we worked on their well, the community took me to see how they currently source their water. You guys would have to make this trip how many times a day? Two times. Two, Two times, times a day. Oh, wow. Damn. So a typical student would carry something like this? Yeah. Oh, God. If 200 students did this every day, how hard could it be? It could be very hard. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Dang, this is very steep. We're just oh, no. walking down this mountain forever. <laughs> Every day. It was actually surprising what? how difficult this hike was. And these people go through all of that just to get to the spigot. That's water is still unsafe to drink. This is where you guys get your water from normally? Yes. And filled with water, these jugs can weigh up to 40 pounds, which is insane for these children to Carry be carrying up this mountain. The ladies can carry two of those. Oh. I totally can as well, though. And as soon as these jugs were filled, it was time to head all the way back up. Hurry up, let's go. Not even sweating or anything. I got it, I got it. <laughs> now, instead of spending hours a day for unsafe water, their new well is only 10 feet away from the school. So, they can just fill it up here now. I'm too tired. And so we were on our way to the next village where we built our 46 well, but we ran into a little problem. We found out that this village is divided in half by this huge dangerous river. It may not look like much now, but when the rainy season comes, the water comes up this high and literally swallows this bridge. And why this That'd bridge is such good. a big deal is the village is over there, the hospital and schools are over there. So they're crossing this bridge multiple times a day. Despite how dangerous this bridge is, it's their only option. This river when it is swollen, and sweep away people, students, or even animals. In the recent past, we have lost about three people trying to cross this river. This loss of life is insane and absolutely unacceptable. The moment we heard about this, we knew we had to help. So while we started work on a new bridge that would let them reach their well, we then traveled over 2,000 miles from Kenya to the country of Zimbabwe. We've been in Africa for Zimbabwe. over a week, and we still have a lot more wells to do. Yeah. You kind of smell. I know, it's weird. I showered this morning. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. Can laughs> I, if you let me finish, I can put my arms down. Can I count on you two to finish these wells with me? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. First on the agenda was to check out a local hospital that was in dire need of clean water. Upon entering, we learned how big of an impact this clinic had on the village. How many kids do you guys give birth to a year here? In a month, about 50. Do 600 births a year? <laughs> wow. But unfortunately, the pregnant mothers at this clinic have to walk over a mile just to get water and then carry these heavy buckets all the way back. However, the good news is we paid for the construction of a new modern well for them. All that needed to be done now was to turn it on. All right, Nolan, are you ready? I'm ready. Over. Let me get a dramatic zoom in. Nolan, I pressed the button. Is it working? It's flowing. Oh. <laughs> Wanna go check it out? Come yes. Boys. Let's do it. I love how people are immediately just getting water right now. This is easily the coolest thing ever. Uh, Nolan here is a professional dancer. Yeah. He will join. Oh my gosh, and I'm dancing. What is he doing? Oh no. Oh gosh. <laughs> No I really. Don't make you watch this anymore. <laughs> That's, That's, you. Water, That's you. That's not The students at this village lack transportation, so we decided to give all of them new bicycles. Nah, Mr. Beasts. I know it looks like a lot of kids, but we bought a lot of bikes. Full disclosure, I don't know how to ride a bike. Jimmy only knows how to give away bikes. Never learned how to ride one. Let's break in all the new bicycles. That's crazy. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. Oh, everyone's passing me. Be careful, I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> you really don't know how to ride a bike. You want to ride it? 
<laughs> All right, go for it, little man. Okay. <laughs> and after giving away the bikes, we continue building wells until we reach... Well number 69! This solar-powered well is specially designed to aid the farmers in this village by providing more than enough water for all of their crops and livestock, even during the dry season, without any electricity. Each panel is 200 watts. Then it's attached to a pump. That pump can pump 5,000 liters every hour. Uh, basically, it's unlimited amount of water for this entire village. That's incredible. And after we left Zimbabwe, we wanted to continue to give water to communities all across Africa. So we built more wells in Uganda, Somalia, and Cameroon. If you want to see more of what we did in Cameroon, there's a whole video about that coming soon on the Philanthropy Channel. Spending time in these villages really made me reflect on the importance of building wells, how it brings water to farms to feed the hungry, how it provides clean conditions for hospitals, and most importantly, how it helps the children of this next generation live long, healthy lives and build the future for all of these communities. We await a new dawn of clean drinking water. Water is life. And with some help from the locals, we finally finished a new bridge that this community can use for the next 100 years. Lives have been saved, families will come together, the worries will be gone. The 100 wells we built in this video will change a lot of lives but not enough. Which is why before you go, I want to urge you all to go to beastphilanthropy.org slash wells or click the link in the description and donate money if possible. We're literally not profiting a dime off this video. 100% of the money we raise is going to go towards building more wells like you saw in this video all around the globe. I know it's weird that a YouTuber has to do all this stuff, but someone's got to do it. And if no one else is, we're going to do it. As you can tell, it really does change the lives of the communities where we build them. And finally, well 100. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's tough. That's uh, Mr. Beautiful. Beast is golden. Wow, bro. I'm gonna do that one day. It has me think like all these rappers yeah. and like, you know, all these people making money. It's mm -hmm. like, what are you doing with it, bro? But you gotta you gotta realize like it's different when like those rappers aren't seeing nothing. Close to what he's touching. Close. Not, it's not even close. Yeah. Like it's only like a like. You'll be surprised, uh, bro. You need money to to do this. I know, but that's true. But with the influence, influence is money as well. Yeah. But to an extent, of what you make it. Yeah, but still, like, nah, bro. Like they would all the rappers would have to come together. Or like, what's wrong with that? There's nothing. That's there's not. What's wrong with that? I'll tell you what's wrong with that. They fight and beef every day. Okay. What do you mean? But What's that's, wrong with that? That's just them. Let's talk about all the NBA players that yeah. are black. Yeah. That the, the guys who, like, imagine coming from a country, making millions in another country, and never going back to your country. But that's, that's what we know, though. You don't know. That's, you don't know. We, we, we don't know. We would have heard about it. They're too big. That, that's, that's, no, true. that's not true. That's not true. Look, because Jokic did something in his, in his country, like, he like did, couple, and you don't know. That's he what I'm did. saying. Y'all don't know. But we end up always hearing about it. If it's done, but like, it comes to the light. Yeah, but not a, like eventually it'll come to light, but not mm -hmm. right when they do it. They, you don't know. I, I, I'm all I'm saying is yeah. we shouldn't say stuff we don't know. That's, How about that's this? all I'm saying. I'm gonna say what I do know. Okay, and I'm gonna look into the camera when I say this. This broke my heart watching this video. Us as people of color, we don't do enough. We complain every single day. We don't help out. Bro, it doesn't, t you don't need to be filthy, like, you don't need to be a billionaire. People banding together is the start. You can have no money and still begin. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, because if I could do it, I would. This is what exactly. I would like to do, <laughs> right? If we get to where we need to be, that is what, uh, that'd be my life's mission. Because I don't think money is to be enjoyed just for myself. Exactly. Anyone who knows who I am knows when I have money, everyone around me has money. And if I don't, hey, gotta wait till I get some. Because I'm going to spread the wealth. So for me to see someone, like he said, to be a YouTuber and have to be the person to go and do that, no disrespect, but look at him. Why did, why did he have to be the one to do it? I'm not mad that he did it. I'm grateful. I'm happy he did it. I don't want to hear the whole, he's doing it for views. He's using the people for his own. Even if he was, guess what? He's still he doing still more than you. Yeah. It's sad, man. It's yeah. so sad. Jeez, bro. Shout out to Mr. Beast, bro. It's the beast. Wow. <laughs> but all right, Beast family. Y'all are Mr. <laughs> you're what? Not, you're not going to say nothing? <laughs> what? I mean, I I think stuff kind of covered everything. Like, You don't have anything if you don't want to say. <laughs>
What if Carvin had something to say? <laughs> Carvin, you had something to say? You didn't even let him talk. <laughs> you just, you didn't even, you didn't Carvin, let no one talk. Carvin, you had something to say? <laughs> I mean, not really. All right, right then. Uh, but, but you didn't know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you covered everything. So it's just like, and I literally waited and waited. And waited Shut it, Carvin. Boy, you didn't wait nothing. But what I can say about the video, though, no cap, it's just like, a hundred is a lot. And this is like, now there's like, <laughs> Thousands and thousands of people in Africa, you know, that got yes. clean water to drink from. And it's just like... I wonder what that water tastes like. Better than what they had yeah, before. Yeah, before, no cap. <laughs> and it's like, then they were doing, like, other side missions, like, building the bridge that, you know what I'm saying, that would give them trouble in certain areas. Or mm-hmm. they even built a solar power one. So it's just like, they were, for some people that needed the extra mile, they went that extra mile. The projectors in the classroom. Bro, computers, bikes... Soccer balls, like spending time with the people, actually bonding, like actually like making a real relationship with them and treating them like people, human beings. Like you know, Cap, like this is video is very inspirational. Where it's like, damn, mm-hmm. like when I get to a point, if I'm where he's at, it's like I want to be able to do some stuff like this. Because again, and record it. So it's like to figure out what you said. Like mm-hmm. I don't even really think he's doing it for views, but it's just like I don't think people like. People do good and in, in record it anymore. Like, there's all there's a whole bunch of people recording them doing bad stuff. But it's like, why not record the good stuff? That's why I never really understood the, oh, when you're doing good charity or you're doing like a good act, like you should just um you don't have to record it. You should just do it. No, I remember Fat Boy SSC literally said he's just like, bro, I'm gonna keep recording me giving out money to people that I need it or me doing good acts. He's like, that should that should be the norm. Mm-hmm. We see so many videos of, of BS on the internet. It's just like, I would want to see more videos like this. Yeah, I agree. I've seen some really like heartwarming videos of people doing good acts and having a real interaction. Like, bro, don't try to downplay and say, "Oh, you shouldn't be recording you doing good things for homeless people." No, record that stuff. We want to see st- positive stuff like that because mm-hmm. you could really inspire someone else to do the same thing. But Brad, I thought I thought Steph said everything. You see, we got the answer out of you. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Such a lack. He's number one. Number one. <laughs> I'm number one. Number one. <laughs> I'm number one. No. <laughs> but you're up there. <laughs> okay. But uh Carv, you got anything to add? Kevin, you got anything? Shut it, Spike. I don't know, man. I just I'm happy I got to see this. Really happy I got to see this. But alright, Beach Family. Y'all let us know what y'all thought about that. I built 100 wells in Africa <laughs> by Mr. Beast. Like, comment, subscribe. Ding, 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 ding. Hit that notification bell. Comment on. We're going to put the link down below. Make sure y'all subscribe to our Patreon and the Instagram. The Instagram. Stuff to what? Go to hell. <laughs> and the TikTok. <laughs> Stop saying your line. No, it's your boy Sleazy at Keeping It Sleazy. It's your favorite topic here, Catch Your Mommy, K Car. It's your boy Kev for real. It's Mr. Red Breed, K Brad. And you just watching the Beach Boys. That's a wrap.